Hi and welcome to yet another tutorial. My name is Carolina and today I'll show you how to make this blazer using my new sewing pattern called Astrid. You can buy this pattern from my shop on Etsy and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. To start, prepare three panels, A, B and C, and pin them together. Then, pin panel D to panel B and panel E to panel C. And then sew them all together. Next, sew the shoulders together. Moving on to the sleeves, pin together upper sleeve panel I and lower sleeve panel K. Then repeat the same steps with the other sleeve by joining panels J and H and sew them together. Then insert the sleeves to the armholes and match the seams on the sleeves with the seams on the blazer. You can use pins or contrasting thread to stitch sleeves in place. Then sew the sleeves and remove the contrasting thread. Now moving on to the collar, pin together panel L to panel M and then panel M to panel O and sew them together. Then trim off seam allowance, but be careful not to cut the stitch line. Place one collar on top of the other, right side to right side, and sew them together along those lines. Then trim off any extra seam allowance. Turn the collar to the right side and use scissors to make the corners nice and pointy. 
Then press the color using an iron. With a blazer on the right side, pin color to the neckline. Mark with a pin the middle of the collar and back neck and pin those two points together and then pin the rest of the collar to the neckline. Then stitch the collar to the blazer. Now moving on to the lining, pin together panels P, R and S. Then pin together front lining panels panel T to panel F, and panel G to panel U. Next, pin sides to the back lining. Then sew together the shoulders. Moving on to the lining sleeves, pin together panels W and Y and then panel X and Z. Make sure to press all the seams open. Now, as I'm using a fabric with no stretch whatsoever for the lining, I'll make a small cuts around the armhole to fit the sleeves better. Insert sleeves to the armholes and use contrasting thread to stitch sleeves into position. After you're done stitching, remove the contrasting thread. With the blazer on the wrong side, insert the lining on the right side and pin the neckline together.
Then turn the blazer to the right side and cut off any extra seam allowance, whatever needed, to make the seams nice and flat. Now moving on, pull out the sleeves to the wrong side through the inside of the blazer between lining and main fabric. Fold the sleeves of the main fabric by 4 cm and secure with pins. Then match the seams and pin the lining sleeve to the main fabric. Before sewing sleeves together, turn the sleeves to the right side and make sure that lining is not twisted. Now sew the sleeve cuff and cut off any extra seam allowance. Because the lining is shorter than the main fabric, you'll end up with a cuff finished just like this. Then, press the sleeves. Next, make secure stitches on the armhole by sewing lining to the main fabric on the seams to prevent lining from moving or twisting. Now from the hem, undo a few stitches first and then fold the front panel at the seam and stitch 1cm away from the edge. And also remember to fold the seam allowance inside before you start sewing. You can cut off any extra seam allowance if needed and then turn the corners to the right side. Now that both bottom corners are ready, turn the blazer to the wrong side. Fold the lining by 2 cm and secure with pins, then press with an iron. Then once the lining is pressed, pin it to the hem of the blazer and leave the back panel open to then turn the blazer to the right side. Turn the blazer to the right side through the gap we just left 
and pin the rest of the lining to the blazer. Finish the opening with invisible stitch by hand. Then, do the same thing to finish off the lining at the back. Mark a place for a buttonhole 20 cm from the top and 1.5 cm from the edge. Then repeat the same steps on the other front panel. Open the buttonholes using the unpicker. As the last step, sew the buttons 8 cm from the edge or 3 cm from the buttonhole. Then, as an option, you can add three buttons to the sleeves. It's gonna add that nicer look, but of course, those buttons are not functional. And that's it! Your own perfect blazer using our Astrid pattern. Thanks for watching!